I am Bill Horman with Real Estate Table Talk for today. And we're going to discuss making sure that the home you've purchased is really worth all the money. Not necessarily in value, but in condition. That is really important. Make sure you're not buying a lemon of a home. The first thing you can do to make sure that you're getting a home of some quality is to review the property disclosure. Every seller has to put one of these together. If they know of any of the defects, like with the roof or if there's any water intrusion or um, are there any boundary issues with your neighbor? Is there an erosion problem, a drainage problem? Anything like that that's listed in this disclosure, they have to disclose if they know of it. And that's really important. What you also need to do, of course, is to hire an inspector. An inspector is going to go through that house from top to bottom. <laughs> and a lot of realtors like to say, of course, these guys are going to find something. Yeah, they'll find something. Some of the issues they find are really no big deal at all. Some of them happen to be big deals. Uh, I recently had a buyer go through a home, hired an inspector, and fortunately that inspector could also do what's called a sewer scope. You might want to, particularly on an older home, a home built in the 20s, 30s, 40s, do some extra or pay for some extra inspections like pest or a sewer scope. And what he found in this particular instance was there was indeed a crack and uh, a few roots from a tree in the sewer pipe. Uh, didn't affect his ability to purchase or his desire to purchase, but at least he knows that that is part of the problem with this home that he might at some point have to pay for. But um, obviously doing due diligence to make sure the home that he wants to buy is going to be in the best shape possible, or at least in accept acceptable shape to him. So along with um, the property disclosure form and hiring an inspector and doing a pest inspection and perhaps a sewer scope, you really need to research the property, research the neighborhood, make sure that it's um, safe, make sure that it's near any amenities you want, a park or close to home or stores. And you also want to research the school district. Make sure that that's a school district in which you feel comfortable sending your children. It's all important. Uh, it costs you a little bit of money, anywhere from $350 to $450 to get an inspection. They'll uh, charge you more for a pest inspection or a sewer scope, but believe me, an extra $80 or $100 is going to be worth it. It might prevent you from buying a lemon of a house, but you have to do your due diligence, okay? Make sure the home you're buying is worth all that money you're spending. I'm Bill Horman, and that's Real Estate Table Talk for today. If you like the content, please share it. Let's spread this information around.